Hi guys, so today I'm gonna talk about Fibonacci series or you may call it Fibonacci series. It's totally depending upon your pronunciation. So Fibonacci series is a series. It's not an AP or GP series like in mathematics. It's a different type of series. Okay, so the series goes like this 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 and so on. So what's the concept behind this Fibonacci series. So we're going to learn the concept behind the Fibonacci series with the help of certain examples. Okay. Or I should say with the help of variables. So one uh, a comma b comma c comma d comma e comma f comma g. Okay. And the value of b is a plus zero, which is equal to a only. The value of c is b plus the a. The value of d is c plus b and so on right so the value of a would be automatically one a simple in, in, increment of one okay so zero one like in the this one right so the value of a is one a simple increment of one the value of b could be the sum of two numbers just behind b okay so in the series so just behind b there are two numbers which is a and zero so the value would be the value of b would be the sum of a and 0 which is equal to a itself okay now we'll look at the value of c for more clarity so value of c would be the sum of two digits just behind the c in the series okay so behind c there are two numbers which are b and a okay not any number we have to just take the number next to it right so b and a are the two numbers next to c so the c would be equal to the sum of a and b that is a plus b or b plus a okay similarly the value of d would be c plus b and the value of e and f and g comment down below okay so this is the basic con concept of fibonacci series so we're going to learn the fibonacci series okay so yeah for clarity i'll just comment down the fibonacci series 0 comma 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma uh, 8 comma 13 comma 21 okay you can uh, it's an infinite series okay so first of all we'll take an input of how many terms we want right how many uh, digits we want how many digits we want to print fibonacci the fibonacci series okay so the comment would be enter the number of number of number of terms right enter the number of terms we'll take a variable known as first second and third third right the value of first is zero as in the fibonacci series let us recall the fibonacci series again 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 okay the first is zero the second is one and the third is one only right we'll learn the loop for n times okay for i in range n times why is this so so first let me explain you the concept of programming right you know the value of third would be second plus first right if you're not able to uh, clarify this or understand this just note that this is the series first comma second comma third right first comma second comma third right this is the series okay this I'm highlighting it this is the series so the value of third would be second plus first as I explain you what Fibonacci series is okay so after this we have to change the value of third okay or I should say I have to change the value of third I have to increment it right we have to go uh, ahead of the Fibonacci series right we don't have to just stuck in 0 1 1 we have to continue it 2 3 5 8 right so to continue it will change the value of first and second right the variable first and second so first would become my second right first would become my second let me draw it like a pyramid right so this would be the first the right the value of first first variable would be second and the value of third variable or i should say the value of second variable would be third right and there would be a new third value right let me explain you again okay for example first is zero uh second is one Okay, so this is the series first, second, third. The value of third would be first plus second. That is zero plus one, right? First plus second. But we have to continue it, right? So it would be zero, one, one. But we have to continue it to two. That means we have to add a val add the value of third and second to get a 
new value that is new third new underscore third right we need a new third we have to uh, go ahead uh, ahead of a series right so new third would be first and second so every to do this we have to do every time we have to create a new variable or we can change the variable values right what we can do is we can assign first we can assign first first sorry first is equal to second and uh, second is equal to third that means the new third that means this value would become second plus first okay and this value of second becomes third as i have written here third is equals to second and the value of first become second okay so the new third would be after this the new third would actually be first plus second only and the value of first becomes second second and the value of second become third. right this is how we continue it so that's why i have written this right uh, that's why I've written this after this the value of after this as I explained you the value of second would be first or I should say the value of first would be second that would be a proper sentence the value of first would be second the value of second would be third and the value and then by addition of first plus second or I should say second plus third would be the new third right this is how the Fibonacci series would continue so to do this we can always create a new variable uh, creating new variable again and again and again and again or we can just create a loop right for i in range n okay the loop will run n times right so we'll have third as i explained you third would be equal to first first plus second right and the value of first would change to second right and the value of second would change to first oh sorry third right and in the loop only will print will print third right because third is a changed value okay control s control uh, okay so So to sublime appell python uh, run current file right enter number of turns i'll take three and one 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 two three so yeah so this is one two three what is happening actually is this a fibonacci series or not what's the mistake right the mistake is that the loop is running from one only the loop is running from here one two and then three then five then eight and then thirteen the loop is running from here so we have to print manually print not with the help of loop manually print first that is zero and print second that is one right if we run this sublime repel python run current file and enter number three okay something is wrong oh i forgot to save this yeah python repel python run current file enter number of turns see so it's 0 1 1 2 3 right but uh, you can see clearly that there is another error also we have written 3 here but the number of elements are more than 3 right so so to correct this mistake we actually have to decrement in the loop right we have to subtract it by 2 because there are two extra elements right there are two extra elements if you write 3 you will get 5 elements you will get two extra elements right so uh, we need to shorten the number of times the loop is running right so if we run this again python uh, current file and if you write three now there will be only three elements okay this ah again i forgot to save the program right. so tool repel and python and run current file i'll add three there will be three elements right okay if you want to uh, print the Fibonacci series in a single line, then you have to write and is equals to space. Simply space or comma. This would be the separation between the digits, right? So save and I'll run tool, Python repel, Python, run current file. Right, the number of elements is let's say nine. So yeah, but the major disadvantage with the same or 
with the using end is equal to comma is that in the, at the last also you'll get a comma so to resolve this problem you can actually use list right i'll show you how to use list and tuples for the same right you just have to convert this whole thing into a list right i'll take l a list is equals to uh, 0 comma 1 comma 1 right or 0 comma 1 only and uh, this okay control z control z control z sorry i don't have to i'm sorry yeah i don't have to uh, vanish the variable only i was actually vanishing the variable only then this code would won't run right so first i get third so i'll take a list which would be 0 comma 1 comma 1 0 comma 1 right and you will write this and here you would just have to write l dot append third right this is the code for adding elements right i hope you know the concept of list if you don't i'll uh, very soon make the make a program or make a video about lists and tuple okay so then i have to print l i don't have to print then at last i have to print l right control s right so tool i hope this would work if there is an error we'll resolve it soon so five yeah okay so this the error is that i have written print here right just wait a second python run file yeah so it's let's take seven all right so there are seven elements one two three four five six seven okay correct yeah so you have to done you have to do this in list for tuples it's a bit tricky because tuple is immutable we cannot add elements like this we have to actually add a list tuples we have to create new tuple and then add it right let's take a tuple let l be a tuple so you have, don't forget to write comma here in tuple okay because you're gonna add tuple you don't have a specific code for like if i have let's name it t it's more suitable right if you have t as a tuple then t dot append there is no such code like this you have to actually add another tuple right another underscore tuple to create a new tuple right so for addition you have to write comma here okay so you have uh, here you have a value of t will change t plus equal to or for clarity i'll write t is equal to t plus you'll write you'll create a new tuple which would be which would have element third right and comma again because we are adding to this so i hope this would work right so control s don't forget to save it sublime repel python run current five i need five elements so yeah there's a tuple as well okay so this is how we're gonna print fibonacci series with the help of list and tuple i hope you like the video thank you for watching